Hello, this is your pastor Tony Kapol and nataka nikukaribisha katika kusikiliza neno la Mungu tena siku ya leo. Biblia inasema neno la Mungu ni taa ya miguu yetu na linatumulikia kila mahali tunapokwenda. Maneno haya yatafungua macho yako. Inawezekana kuna giza ulikuwa unakutana nao kwenye maisha yako lakini liko neno ambalo neno hilo unalo siku hii ya leo. Karibu. Tuko kwenye financial deliverance and this is day day 5 Wow, we have gone far. This day five and then we'll come again here tomorrow. We have very intense prayer. Bonus fewer. Tomorrow it will be more of prayers than a lot of things. Hallelujah. Nikuonyeshe maandiko machache alafu tuingie kwenye kwenye kiini cha leo. Waefeso sura ya sita. Waefeso sura ya sita. Ephesians chapter number 6. Thank you Holy Ghost. Ibana bashanta lede ya sete. Ala mandara bahata. Ephesians chapter number 6. Kuna vitu nataka tu vi analyze pale kabla hatujaenda kule ambako tunataka tukiwa twende. Nafahamu jana tuli tuliacha kiporo cha kutoka, okay? Yes. But I want us to start from Ephesians chapter number 6. From verse 10. I want you to read the word of God. Ephesians 6 verse 10 wasandawe wanasema wa Efeso sura ya sita. kuanzia mstari wa kumi. tuanzie hapo hatimaye mzidi kuwa hodari katika Bwana oh put some energy One, two, three, go hatimaye mzidi kuwa hodari katika Bwana mhm katika uweza wa nguvu zake mhm vaeni silaha zote za Mungu mpate kuweza kuzipinga hila za shetani kwa maana kushindana kwetu sisi si juu ya damu na nyama mm-hmm. bali ni juu ya falme na mamlaka mm-hmm. juu ya wakuu wa kizahiri mm-hmm. juu ya majeshi ya pepo wabaya katika ulimwengu wa roho Now let's do it again but we will do it now kwa ku notice vitu muhimu and I want you to analyze remember jana nilisenta sana kwenye falme sema falme falme nakumbuka Yes. Na nikasema ufalme haujipi ufalme unapewa. Alright? Yes. Unakuwa endorsed. Hasa falme katika ulimwengu wa roho. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Na jana kwa neema ya Mungu I did whatever I was supposed to do. I shenga some people's head so that you may stay there. Amen. Believe me, mahali popote ambapo moyo wako utatamani ku win. Yes right from this altar yes wako malaika watakao ku back up kwa kwa tunakoenda amen sema i have the backup of god behind me i have the backup of god behind me i have no reason to fear i have no reason to fear moja kitu ambacho mungu amenisitiza sana ni dinacho kwenye hii financial deliverance ni fear woga hope wakati mwingine si kwamba mungu anakuwa hawezi kufanya jambo wakati mwingine si kwamba opportunities zinakuwa hazipo wakati mwingine si kwamba nafasi zinakuwa hakuna ila wakati mwingine tunaacha kufanya tunachotakiwa kufanya katika Mungu kwa sababu mioyo yetu imejaa hofu na woga na hofu na woga ni product of ignorance sema fear is product of ignorance fear is a product of kwa hiyo moja ya vitu ambavyo hofu inazalisha inazalisha nini Ah, okay. Moja ya vitu ambavyo ujinga unazalisha. Unazalisha nini? Hofu au woga. Sasa of course hata kwenye terminology tu hofu ziko za namna mbili. Okay. Kuna hofu na woga. Hofu ni fear, alafu woga ni cowardness. Bwana asifiwe. Why ignorance? Ignorance sio tu si ignorance si, simply ni kuto kujua. Yaani tafsiri nyepesi ya neno ignorance ni kuto kuwa na ufahamu au kuto kujua. Na mara nyingi wana wa Mungu wana access na silaha kubwa na mambo makubwa kwenye maisha yao kuliko wao wanavijua. So kazi ya madhabahu yoyote kazi ya kuhani yoyote aliyewekwa na Mungu madhabahuni ni kumsaidia mtoto wa Mungu kuwa na awareness. So awareness takes away ignorance. Now let me bring to you something that is 
can be a little bit controversial but I don't care. Ni hivi. Biblia haikupi imani. The Bible doesn't give you faith. But what you learned or what you got from the Bible will give you faith. Now let me put it in. It's not the playing of language. Huo sio mchezo wa maneno. Ni is probably. Mwingine anaweza kadhania kwamba kwa sababu anayo maneno au niseme hivi words au the word of God doesn't give you faith on its own. It is what you had. It is what you had. It is what you got from what he has said is what give you faith. Please get that. Ukichanganya tu hapo umenitengenezea kesi. Neno la Mungu halikupi imani. Neno la Mungu Okay. Imani chanzo chake ni kusikia. Alafu anasema vikusikia huja. Kwa hiyo imani haiji kwa sababu umesikia tu. Kusikia ndio kunaletwa na neno la Kristo. Kwa hiyo neno la Kristo lilipokuja nilisikia nini? Mfano. Nitumie lugha za mtaani, mniruhusu, sawa? Jo bro. Lugha ya mtaani, uniruhusu. Si sina maana ya ku ya kuku abuse ni hivi we chizi ni noma na we chizi ni same word different huyu amesikia nini mtu anaweza kusema jamaa yule ni mbwa mbwa na mtu anaweza kusema hivi Yaani hiyo jamaa yule ni mbwa kama ana sifu. Alafu kuna jamaa ni mbwa kama kuelezea ubaya wa jamaa. Are you getting it? Thank you sir. Thank you. Where is your cheese? Katika jina la Yesu. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes. So when the word is brought to you, what do you hear? Kwa sababu neno linapokuja, linakuja as a skeleton word, as the structured word. What do you hear? Wewe unasikia nini kwa mfano? Unaposoma habari za wana wa Israel kutoka nchi ya Misri kwenda nchi ya Hadi, hiyo haikuletea imani. Ila ulichosikia kwenye ile story. Kila mtu anasikia cha kwake personal. Yes. Ndio anakuja kwenye kitabu cha Zaburi ya 100 anasema hivi, the entrance of thy words. Not the word, the entrance. Thy the entrance ki Swahili anatumia neno kufafanusha anasema kufafanusha kwa neno lako kwatia nuru kwa hiyo nuru haiko kwenye neno ila nuru iko kwenye neno lililofafanushwa yes kwamba neno lilipokuja kwangu i understood this now ile understanding hello amen i don't want to leave anyone there ile understanding ule ufahamu ule uelewa ndio unaleta light kwa hiyo kinachotufanya tupate matokeo kwenye jambo lolote tunalokimbizana nalo kutoka kwa Mungu au neno la Mungu sio kukariri maandiko kukariri maandiko ya kuleta imani ila ulichosikia kutoka kwenye lile neno lilichosema kila mtu anasikia cha kwake tunaweza tukasoma matayo hiyo hiyo moja what did you hear so i have right to say what gives faith or what brings faith it is the revelation Now revelation yoyote isiyokupa cha kufanya physically it is dead revelation Bibi anasema hivi imani chanzo chake ni kusikia na kusikia huko huja kwa neno la Kristo then anaendelea mbele anasema hivi nyinyi nionyesheni imani yenu katika maneno na mimi nitaonyesha imani katika matendo kwa hiyo imani peke yake is not enough lazima iwe imani inayoambatana na nini na matendo. Kwa maana yake kila ninaposikia, sitakii tu kusikia kitu cha kunifanya ni sasa hivi, eh nimeamini. No no no, I must have, yani from the word that I had, I must have a plan, a working plan, a strategy. 
Kwa neno la Mungu haliji tu ili tuseme amen. Linakuja alafu linatuachia action plan. This is the reason why Pastor Tony anapenda kutupa practical za kufanya barabarani. Kwa nini sababu nilichokisikia kwenye uwepo wa Mungu nisipokiingiza katika matendo kimelala kinabaki vile vile anasema mbegu ikiwekwa chini okay mbegu ikiwekwa peke yake ikikaa dukani haizai kitu isipokuwa kwanza imepandwa alafu ikaoza then naweza kumea na kuzaa matunda mengine Kwa lazima lile neno lilo lilotamkwa kwako likakuletea imani likunyanyue nitajua kama uliamini nikikuona umenyanyuka umechukua action flan Then kile kiaction hata kama ni kicha kidogo hata kama ni cha kitoto Siku moja niliwahi kumwambia dada mmoja hapa Sijui kama yupo lakini yupo nikuepo hapa Nilihubiri nikasema unahangaika sana kutafuta kazi au kutaka kazi kwenye kampuni fulani Write down the name of that company do you remember that revelation Alafu liweke wapi kwenye pochi So hivi kampuni hii mimi nimeweka kwenye pochi. Ni kwenye pochi yangu tayari ninalo hapa. Let's say unaenda ku apply tender mahali fulani. You are applying a certain thing. You want them to give you that position. Unasikia watoto mtano wanaongea kila siku, yule nimemweka mkononi, yule nimemweka kwenye chupa, yule nimemweka kwenye na yeye anasema Nchi na vyote vije za vile mali ya nani? Na waweza wale fulani na fulani na fulani ninyi kama mlivyo nimeweka ndani ya pochi yangu, nyinyi mmetulia mmeka hapa na nyinyi Managini, they will never move against my will simple faith like that unausaidia moyo wako kutokuwa na mashaka kwenye kile ulichokisema now follow me now anasema hivi imani okay Okay let me take this one. Anasema hivi, hatimaye ndugu zangu mzidi kuwa hodari katika Bwana, mzidi kuwa hodari katika Bwana. Nao hii ni, tanga, ni kama tangazo au ni of course ni nyaraka. Kwa ni kama barua anawaambia jamani kweni hodari katika Bwana. Kiingereza za be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. So this is an encouragement lakini pia this is an advice lakini pia this is the admiration. Kuambia jamani be strong in the Lord. Kwa hiyo God will not strong will not be strong for you. Mwambie nako God will not be strong for you. You have to be strong it is you So wakuwa strong ni nani Mimi. Katikati ya vitisho nani anatakiwa awe strong Mimi Kwa hiyo Mungu kama Mungu amemaliza assignment yake anajua anaweza kiasi gani ameipima nguvu yake na ameipima nguvu ya adui zako jana tukasema kabisa kwamba adui yako ameshapimwa na Mungu Kwa hiyo sola la kukimbia huyo game ni wewe ndo nakimbia lakini as far as God is concerned the battle is already won Yes lakini ili uweze ku survive kwa sababu adui ana makelele, adui ana matisho. Kuna mahali aliwaandikia wanawaizi akamwambia mimi msiogope matisho yao. Msiogope kelele zao. Maana adui hao mnaoona leo hamtawaona tena. Msiogope matisho yao. Hallelujah. Amen. Anasema be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. So moments ambazo unaingia kwenye mapambano ya kifedha unaona kabisa you are about to lose it you are about to be taken out be strong there yes because you will not be hawezi kuiona nguvu ya Mungu kama you won't be strong to stay most of you you quit before being chased away wengi wenu mnaondoka kabla mjafukuzwa stay there yes stay there amen If they will mock you let them mock you while you are there. Amen. If they will laugh at you let them laugh at you be strong. Yes. Because kabla hawajaingia kwenye kicheko chao cha kukucheka cha aibu they will celebrate with you. Amen. Ngio kia yeye anakuambia adui na imeogopa na yeye anakuogopa. Mwambie tena. Now are you are you following? Yes. So let's be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Alafu anasemaje? Vaeni sila zote za Mungu mpate kuweza kuzishinda. Mpate kuweza kupinga hila za nani? Za shetani. Mhm. Kwa maana kushindana kwetu sisi juu. Kwa maana kushindana kwetu sisi. Si juu ya damu na nyama. Kwenye hiyo biashara ushindani na watu. Yes. Ko you may think you are enemy 
is mwaajabu sampira that you see in the office but in a real sense siju ya damu na nyama so mwaajabu has nothing to do with you whatever kwa yeye unapomuona pale amewekwa na principalities and powers kuna vitu ndio vimemweka pale so if you are able to take that mwaajabu mwa sampira pale you don't have to deal with her deal with whatever that is behind her yes you didn't get it you didn't get you this this side is too slow let me go to this side you don't have to deal with the enemy that you see on shirt or on skirt whoever is wherever it has been placed there by some powers by some thrones by some principalities So uh, Paulo anato advise anatuambia guys mlikuwa mjui kushindana kwetu sisi si juu ya damu na nyama yes. bali ni juu ya falme hai kwa hiyo huyu nae compete naye imagine mko kwenye race ya kukimbia kwenye riadha ya shuleni mnakimbia afu Paulo na unamsikia Paulo anakuambia hivi oya au shindana na huyo yani huyo anashinda naye so yeye there is what gives us strength there is what gives him strength there is what gives him power see i'm teaching you on how to deal with what gives them power to take positions yes. on what gives them power to take spaces yes Now you are mind usimwangalie tu huyu mtu nje your mind from today should deal with whatever that gives them power amen Kifanikiwa kushuhulika na shina ibarara basota rabagadila sota ukifanikiwa kushuhulika na shina majani hayatakusumbua Majani yanaweza yakawa yamengana kupendeza na yakashkutisha na ya ukasema majani yana influence majani yana kichwa majani yanajulikana naomba nikwambie raha ya majani au niseme ubabe wa majani uko kwenye shina if i get you tonight if i help you tonight to know and understand that you don't have to deal with the majani you have to deal with the shina if you can hit the shina Eska Brown Amalia Kadasha Rabba. Oh yes. Ukifanikiwa kulikausha shina. Let me let me let me shock you a little bit. Let me shock you a little bit. A little bit. Do you know ninaweza nikalikausha shina na shina likaanza kukauka halafu majani yakaonekana bado ya kijani. It is after some time then you realize ah ah na majani ndo yanaanza kukauka lakini effect iliingia kwenye shina siku nyingi now problem of most of you my brothers and sisters mkishapiga kwenye shina kwenye ulimwengu wa roho mkishapiga kwenye shina alafu mkaona majani bado ni ya kijani you give up sasa nimeomba lakini havijatokea nimeomba kijatokea ko mnaanza kuondoka mkiondoka huku nyuma nafasi kuna baadhi ya watu ndani mliwahi kuomba vitu fulani fulani vile vitu vishatokea kwa kula kwa sababu timshaondoka so the spaces are there nyinyi ndio mmeomba kile kitu kitokee lakini hakipo kwa sababu hakuna mtu akuchukua kwa sababu aliyetakiwa kuchukua either amesusa au amekata tamaa au ameogopa au amekosa strength what do we do when we feel we lose strength again The Bible is saying the joy of the Lord. So the moment between my miracle and my prayer hapa katika let's say my miracle is this one and I am in this situation now. Hapa katika maombi nayafanyia hapa, okay? Prayers nafanya hapa. I'm hitting. I'm hitting. I'm hitting now. Between here and there for me to get that one hapa katikati i need joy i need strength if i can be strong here if i can only be strong i can have this one yes most of you miracles are already given out but strength nguvu uhodari wa kusubiri Wanataka kuniambia nijibu mimi watu wa Mungu. Wanataka kuniambia kweli kabisa kweli. Goliath alikufa siku ile ile. Goliath alikufa siku nyingi kabla hajapigwa jiwe. 
Haiwezekani amerushiwa jiwe tena bibi yake kabisa ni jiwe laini. Limemgi hapa hapa anaanguka chini. Hapana. Kuna kitu kingine kilichamua Goliati kabla Goliati hajafa. Yes. Naomba nikwambie leo ridute unaoliogopa. Huyo mtu naye ameogopa. Yes. Alishagongwa kabla hujamgonga wewe. Amen. Kuanzia ibada hii ya leo tunachokifanya ni kuwasukumia tu huko. Amen. Jamani gogo lililoliwa na mtwa yes. huhitaji panga kuliangusha. Yes. Huhitaji shoka kuliangusha. Yes. Naomba nikwambie tunapoomba jioni hii ya leo. Yes. Nasema tunapoomba jioni hii ya leo. Amen. Malaika wataenda kama mtwa. Amen. Na kutafuna mashina ya hayo magogo. Amen. Na kutafuna mashina ya hayo magogo. Amen. Paka tukifika mwisho wa siku kabla hatujamaliza zimebakia siku mbili. Yes. Nasema katika jina la Yesu Kristo wa Nazareth. Yes. Magogo yataangushwa hata na upepo. Amen. So, tunapoomba mtu wa Mungu, useme niliomba juzi na jana vikakataa. No 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 no. Stick there. Stay on that point. Stay on that miracle. Stay on that prayer point. Stay yes. on it my sister. Yes. Stay on it my brother. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me use the example of this daughter of mine here. Walienda mara ya kwanza kuomba frame. Wakatajiwa bei kubwa. Mwenzake akaona kama weekend bana ametusajia bei hii. Now this also is the reason okay this also is the benefit of having a friend with faith. Chunga kampani yako. Bila sasa hivi mazungumzo mabaya uharibu tabia na imani ni tabia. Imani kabla hakijawa kitu cha kiroho ni character ni tabia. So unaoongea naye watu unaoongea nao do they charge you up in faith are they encourage you up in faith or are they demeaning your faith who do you share your plans with who do you share your visions with who do you share your, your issues with who do you share your kwa sababu anatakiwa ushae na mtu ambaye kila ukikaa naye anakutia uchizi wa kufanya zaidi anakutia uchizi wa kufanya zaidi yes. anakutia uchizi wa kufanya zaidi yes. na hii ndio masingo ladies na masingo boys mnisikie if you have a partner who shut down your fire on something you are doomed Find a partner who makes you crazy to follow your dreams. When you go back ukimwambia haiwezekani na kuambia acha uchizi go again. Yes. So a friend goes to a friend and say ametoja bei hii. So in other words, yeye aliyeingia kunajua mara nyingi why do we need friends of, of that kind? Kwa sababu huyu ambaye ameenda kumuona yule mwenye frame yeye yeah, yuko front line of war kwa inawezekana yuko wounded kwa sababu ukiwa unapiga risasi maana you might be wounded may have a wound kwa an, aliyeko nyuma yako ambaye hajaenda yeye hajaiona sura ya mwenye nyumba hajajua mwenye nyumba alikuwa serious kiasi gani unajua wakati mwingine ukimuona mwenye, mwenye ukiona sura ya mwenye frame alivyokuwa serious kwa sababu moyoni mwako moyo unakuambia hivi huyu habadiliki kutoka hapa ila huyu ambaye hajaona huyu ambaye hajaona hajui alikuwa serious kiasi gani hajui alikuwa amenuna alikuwa anacheka huyu mwenyewe amechukua tu imani na huyu anashusha you understand what i'm saying kwa hiyo inawezekana huyu anasema wewe kwa sababu na imani hebu shirika na robi wako inaona kama shakata tamaa you understand what i'm saying so huyu anachukua sasa anaendelea ku iminya paka wapate kaweka kwenye kiatu mwingine ataweka kwenye maji mwingine ataweka kwenye chupa mwingine ataweka wewe utajua wewe lakini cha msingi ni kwamba nimekataa hili jambo nimesema ni la kwangu litakuwa la kwangu limekuwa la kwangu litakuwa tatizo leo mkiambiwa tu no mara moja narudi nyuma imagine imagine kumbe frame ile ilikuwa ni ya kwao kumbe imagine angekata tamaa au asingekuwa na rafiki mwenye imani ya namna hiyo maana yake angesema hivi frame nimekataliwa. Kwa angeondoka na conclusion nimekosa frame pale. Lakini kumbe in the spirit the frame is there. Now imagine Mungu anakuambia hivi ni ya kwako, ile frame ni ya kwako, ile frame ni ya kwako ndio hapo takoshangaa. Ni mambo mangapi tukifika mbinguni tutaambiwa lile limgodi la Merelani lilikuwa ni la kwako, lile jumba pale lilikuwa ni la kwako, ile hoteli uliokuwa unaitamani kuilala siku zote ilikuwa ni ya kwako ile. Imagine ni vitu vingapi tukifika mbinguni tutaambiwa ni vya kwetu ambavyo tulikata tamaa tukasema hatuwezi kuwa navyo kwa sababu gani? Tulienda mara moja tukawaambia wakatuambia hakuna frame na sisi tukakubaliana nao. Uliye kubadilana naye ndio amekuloga. So wengine mmeambiwa hamna kazi. Mkakubaliana nalo. Wengine mmeambiwa biashara hapa hakuna. Mkakubaliana nalo. Kiingereza na Kiswahili vyote hukutana pamoja. 
Bibi anasema hivi pisheni Naomba tuangalie kitenzi cha neno pisha Taja maneno manne yanayotengenezwa na neno bisha. Twende la kwanza. Bishana. Mhm, la pili. Bishania. La tatu. Bishanisha. La nne, bishia. Yesu anasema je, bisheni nanyi? Yesu anajaribu kutuambia. Kumbuka anazungumza katika progress ya maombi. Anasema, "Ombeni nanyi." Napewa. Alafu tafuteni nanyi. Alafu anasemaje bisheni? Ni peni mimi wali mlio soma HK yelo HG yelo HGK. Ni peni mimi kutoka kwenye kamusi za Kiswahili ya tuki neno bisheni au neno bisha maana yake ni kataa goma koma ngangania mpaka wamekupa kwa sababu tutakapoenda kumdai Yesu kwamba Yesu nilikuomba kitu fulani ukanikatalia nilienda kuambia wanipe kazi wale niligonga au kampuni yao wakanikatalia Yesu anasema atakwambia hivi neno langu linasemaje Yesu atakuuliza ulibisha eh hey, Yesu nilibisha ngambe Yesu atakuuliza unajua maana ya ubishi Baba yangu mimi ni mkinga kwa asili. By nature, wakinga na wapare wanaweza wakakubishia kitu hata kama ni cha kweli. Na waha. Wanaitwa wakigoma, hao wazee ni wakugoma. Wakigoma jambo Ushasikia wasomaji wanasema wewe mbishi kama mkinga. Yaani unabisha kwa sababu kule kuna milima. Anaambia mzigo anakiwa upande pale. Tunaenda. Afope, vigigi vimekoma huko. Bisha. Vibishi. Wakinga sio matajiri kwa sababu ya uchawi, wakinga ni matajiri kwa sababu ni wabishi. Wabishi. Zamani nilikuwa na waza. Kwa nini ni mbishi? Kweli nimeamini kila kabila lina upako wake. Maeneo ambayo mchaga kashindwa kufanya biashara mkinga anafanya. Mchaga upako wake ni hela. Ni biashara. Angalia hata pale kariako mtao wote ambao mchaga hayupo, yupo mkinga. Sasa siku siku hapa kuhubiri makabila. Niko hapa kukueleza neno kubisha. The Bible says bisheni. Hasa bisheni lazima iendane na ile neno be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Efeso anatuambia the Lord is strong, the Lord is might, but hiyo mightness ya Mungu it will depend how kubisha are you. Kwa maana yake I will see the mightness of God to the extent of my ubishi. Yaani the Lord is ya kamelewa bara mimi niruhusu nichanganye tu humo humo mtakuwa mnaelewa mimi najua mtakuwa mnaelewa kama ndugu yako aelewi wewe yani hivi eh kama aelewi ataangalia kwenye youtube <laughs> bwana asifiwe yani hivi mtu wa Mungu yani ni hivi Mungu anasema hivi i can do this to the level of your strength because mightiness of doing it i have it upako ni nao nguvu ya kukutendea ni nayo uwezo wa kufanya hilo jambo ni nao ni nao malaika ni nao maserafi ni na makerubi ni na power ni na moto mimi ni na mishale ni na mawe ni na kila kitu but it will depend on how much strong are you ndio kile nakwambia umekuwa mwepesi sana wewe ndio maana mambo ya endi kwa ni kama tunamwekea mashaka Mungu wetu bure we were supposed to be bold 
Negotiations nyingine za biashara zenu mnazozifanya you do them weekly because you are worried ah waweza wasinipe hela wengi kosa je you're not strong you're so weak so we have an encouragement today be strong in the lord do you know niwai mwambie mtu mmoja kaambia hivi mimi hata kama jambo Mungu amesema unajua kuna zile mambo za hivi usinganganie inasikana Mungu hajakupangia hilo yani hivi hata kama hajanipangia anipe alafu aniambie hivi hili sijakupangia chukua ila achana nalo chukua ila ah. Abraham alikuwa anatafuta mtoto akaambia Mungu nitakwendaje mimi ndakufa kabla hujapata mtoto Sara akasema hivyo kweli tutakosa mtoto hapo. Sawa Mungu umetupa ahadi. Akawaambia sikilizia kwa eh. Kwa chesha hivi. Tunasema iko mbele unakwenda. Biblia inasema Abraham akazaa na ajiri. Sara akamwambia baba wewe ingia mle ndani niletee mtoto. Akazaa ajiri. Umuone Mungu akikaa kwenye mlango wa Ibrahim akamwambia Ibrahim Ibrahim tulia tulia. Ibrahim usindi wewe Ibrahim unataka kuzini Ibrahim. Kwa malaika akatumwa azae hivi wewe we Ibrahim Ibrahim unawaza nini Ibrahim Mungu alimzuia Nauliza alimzuia Wakaenda wakazaa mtoto anaitwa Ishmael Jamani unajua ni wastage of resources Unazaa mtoto ambaye Mungu akupanga umzae And then Mungu anakuja sasa hivi Unajua Ishmael baada ya kuwa mkubwa Mungu Abraham anamwambia hivi Umenipa uzao Ishmael Mungu anamwambia mtoto nitakaye kukupa sio huyo Ishmael atakaye rithi baraka yako sio Ishmael lakini kwa Ishmael nitamfanya awe mkubwa na ni atakuwa na Masaidi wawili nitamfanya awe mkuu sana na kumbariki nitambariki ah nilijua yeye alikuwa mtoto sio wa budget nilijua mbinguni hawana budget yake no pamoja na kwamba hakuwa ni mtoto wa mpango bado mbingu ilikuwa na budget yake yes. mbingu ilikuwa na baraka yake yes there is no excuse yes nasema there is no excuse yes only results amen I have a son in ministry and a friend anaitwa Dr. Alex Mwagama. Anapenda kuambia familia yake hivi, no excuse, results only. I copy. Sitaki kufanya plagiarism. According to my friend and my son, this is a motto. No excuse, results only. If you put your life kwenye mambo ya kujipa jipa the excuse you know what you'll do to yourself you will never stop giving excuse you will be a mediocre hivi kweli umetoka kijijini kule mbanginda ili uje mjini uwe mediocre wewe the whole of you wengine mna degree mbili wengine tatu mwanangu mi degree yote ulionayo medioka na kuna wajinga mjini wanakula tu hawana Mungu hawana shule hawana maisha hawana yeye yeye wanaishi unajua unachokifanya acha kusema hmm. wale maisha yao ya kiuni ndio maana wanafanikiwa mimi ni mama wako kumfuata Mungu nani akakwambia kwa Mungu wako malofa hali za ne excuse you are giving an excuse mimi unajua mimi hata mimi ningekuwa najiuza ningekuwa mbali dada watafuta wanaojiuza watakwambia sio wanaojiuza wote wana hela kina Esther huko kwenye Biblia hawakuwa wanajiuza na walikuwa ni watu Maria Magdalena alikuwa ni kaaba baada ya kuacha ukaaba Biblia inasema hivi alikuwa na mji wake kabla ya kuwa alipokuwa kaaba alikuwa hana mji baada ya kuwa kaaba baada ya kuacha ukaaba akaanza kufuatana na Yesu akawa na mji wake unaitwa mji wa Mariamu by those days miji ilikuwa inatajwa kwa majina ya wanaume but Mary the friend of Jesus had a city named by her name city named by her name sema kwa jina la Yesu kwa jina la nitakuwa na kamtaa kwenye jina langu nitakuwa na kamtaa kwenye jina langu napanga estate zako hapo mwanangu unachogopa ni nini na unaogopa nini? Kwani unachoka haraka? Kwani unachoka haraka? Kwani Mungu kafa? Kwani unachoka haraka? Kwani umezeeka? Kwani unachoka haraka? Kwani unaambia unakufa tarehe 2 mwezi wa 9? Kwani 
Macam mana kau ni? Make it intentional. Make it a, a game. I was telling one young man yesterday, kan be vi kwenye success of life. Kwenye mapambano ya maisha. Don't take it serious. Make it a game. Put it as a game. Yani just just say I cannot be number two. I enjoy competing. I enjoy not sleeping. Yani you make it a game. Hata kama sina cha kufanya, I'll be up in the night either praying, reading. If all are of mood, I'll be watching movie or playing PS5. But I will not sleep sand. I'm telling you my life. Busy. Saa kumi na moja ndo namaliza kucheza PS5. Alafu naweka kujumko. Yaani nasikia tu raha kuresi, yaani nataka na mtu hapa ni rest na. It feels hallelujah. We imagine saa kumi, siku saa kumi na moja uko. Eh mwapiti pita tumele wa Hindi wajue umewaona nini. Yaani tu Are you sleeping? Ndio maana anasema hujabisha. Hujabisha. Nani ajuae kwamba hilo unalolitaka wewe bwana walipataka wanamkaga saa nane. Wewe unaliombaga saa tatu. Kumbe wakijibiwaga unajibiwaga saa nane. Angalia maombi yako yenyewe. <laughs> Meka, unaweka mtu vizuri baba Mungu Ka, kama unavyoona nimeangaika sana kuipata hii kazi oh Yesu nisaidie mimi usini pite moko mzi bwana Yesu nisi kwenye biblia yako na wajua kwenye kitanda chako kuna katenzi <laughs> na kuna ka biblia <laughs> kamekapo pembeni hai ndio kile ninakwambia mtumishi nafikia alifika <laughs> kuna katenzi hapa na kuna biblia uongo bana wewe <laughs> usini pitemo ko nzi bwana yesu Nisi oh una pozu na pozu oh bwana Yesu Unamaliza sasa unafunga tens Weka blanketi vizuri Baba Mungu katika jina la Yesu nakushukuru kwa siku nzima ya leo umeninda Mungu wangu hata tulipoenda pale kwenye ibada ya pastor Tony tulikuwa pamoja na wewe. Kwa nini naongea uongo? Wewe unaniombeaga? Wewe unaniombeaga wala una ubaya. Mungu mkumbuke mtumishi wako pastor Tony. Kumbuke na mke wake na watoto wake. Watoto wake ni wadogo Mungu mkumbuke. Lakini pia Yesu sinisahau jana nilienda kwenye ile frame wakanikatalia. Yesu visijifanye Oh Yesu sisi Yesu maisha ya magumu. Kodi na waisa mwezi wa tisa. Umguse John Mungu anitumie. Ukimaliza. Amen. Wa Hivi Ashumu wewe ndo Jehova. Mtu ana namna hii unampa? Alafu kuna mwingine usiku wa manane. Lakataradia.
katika jina la Yesu kila aliyeweka hukumu kwenye ile biashara yes. nimeenda jana wamenikatalia yes na upasua ule ukuta yes ukuta wanauachia yes na upasua ule ukuta yes. kwa jina la Yesu yes. nakataa kuzuiliwa yes. nakataa kuzuiliwa yes. neno lako linasema tubisho tafunguliwa yes. baba wanafungua yes. natamka wanafungua yes. natapili wananifungulia yes. jina langu limeingia kule ndani yes. kwa jina la Yesu yes. wananifungulia ule mlango yes. kwa jina la Yesu mlango wangu yes. unafunguka Amen. kwa jina la Yesu wote mnataka kazi eneo moja we umeomba na umeimba na tenzi mwingine hana protocol you see siku moja nilikuwa nasikia jamaa mmoja anafundisha maombi you know there are those teachers of prayer and there are those who pray the teaching of prayer is not prayer prayer is not to be taught prayer is to be prayed Jamaa kana funisha this is the protocol of prayer you start by thanksgiving and you come yani wenyewe wanaifanya maombi kama ese introduction main body conclusion hujataitiwa <laughs> wewe eti wanze si baba nimekuja mbele zako ninakushukuru kama ambavyo neno linasema baba yetu liye mbinguni Chia, na kutukuza ye bwana hey wewe hujataitiwa kuna sie wengine hapa we don't understand a we don't understand b all we understand father we have come <laughs> in the name of jesus yes. we command this door to open yes without any protocol yes bila sema na tukikaribia kiti cha rehema na kupata neema ya kutufaa hai ya kutufaa wakati wa uhitaji huu ni wakati wa uhitaji no protocol there you say in the blood of jesus yes i receive grace now amen grace to be accepted in that job amen grace to be accepted in that office amen grace to be accepted grace let's say ume be tender labda ya milioni 100 na hujawahi ndo mara yako ya kwanza umekuwa ukibidi za milioni 40 milioni 80 milioni 60 milioni 40 ndo mara ya kwanza unaenda kumtaja milioni 100 you say father in the name of jesus because re, re, listen to me these things are spiritual um, if god will give me grace maybe sunday i will spoke i will speak a little bit about grace for money listen you don't receive 100 million if you don't have the grace for 100 million so you change the grace then you receive the physicality of money If you don't change the grace you don't get the what the grace produce Remember sisi tuliomwamini Mungu yote tunayoyapata ni kwa neema Kwa hiyo kama nitaingia kwenye mabilioni maana there is the grace of grace of billions there is grace of millions there is the grace of lakhions So for me to shift into bigger money I must have grace that will capacitate me to get the money so baba katika jina la yesu naipokea neema ya kunifaa i have never received this kind of contract this kind of tender i pray in the name of jesus grant me the grace wakinione wanipe neema you, you see the, what grace does ukiipokea neema wanaokuona wanakupa neema they qualify you when you don't qualify oh braha shalgeni kwa kweli hata sisi tukikuangalia tunajiona kama hustahili kupokea hii but we don't know there is too much grace on your face receive this one oh yes this is for sunday grace for money where people are giving you things that you don't deserve living for you things that you don't deserve hallelujah hata kabla ya jumapili i pray in the name of jesus receive that grace Amen. any amount of money that you have never crossed before yes i pray in the name of jesus amen receive the grace in jesus mighty name amen Four years ago i mean three years ago if not four it was my first time to give one at one time 10 million
It was not in my grace. Every time I wanted to try, ilikuwa inaisha saba. Na sikilizia na sikilizia na sikilizia na shindo kumaliza. But when the grace was landed on me, I crossed over. Oh yes. I crossed over. I boast in my giving more than my receiving. I don't in our family we don't measure ourselves by what we receive. No, we measure ourselves on what we give. Because if I will know the 10% I have to give, then I will know what I I received. Mpo wa Kristo wenzangu. Amen. Jamani wa Islam mpo. Mabudha mpo. Understand this. Understand this. Bibi anasema hivi kwake yeye mbinguni hakitaingia chochote kilicho kinyume. Malaika tu wenye anaitwa malaika walio hodari. Kiingereza anaitwa strong mighty angels. Do you think why they are mighty? Because they are ready for war at any time. Do you think wanaitwa hali hawaitu hivi wanakwaya malaika linaitwa jeshi. Jeshi la malaika. Maana kani saa yote kinanuka. Malaika wanaitwa jeshi kwa sababu saa yote kinanuka na wewe kinukiche saa yote kwenye dadala wewe rataka baskotosha ma Kara hashata Sometimes you might need to get out of the office Unaona something is not okay unaambia wenzako jamani nipende dakika tano tunatoka mara moja Unafika chooni unabana miguu na mnaikata lesho kata rata yaka abaya shata shagara Hey Alafu unatoka Hiyo ni spiritual cords Kimemo kitakuwa kimefika mbinguni Mikaeli ataambiwa oya dondosha mzigo pale Tuma kikosi cha majeshi pale Yes You understand what I am saying Amen You have to have spiritual coordinates Ah uh. Heaven must have your coordinates wherever you are At any time Anaamka gehazi asubuhi Analia anasema baba tumevamiwa jeshi la washami liko nje. Elisha anasema relax young boy relax these battles are not fought in the morning. I already finished everything in the evening. Kwa sababu alipoamka asubuhi ndio anaona jeshi. Elisha anasema relax boy wewe ndio umeamka saa hizi mimi niko macho kitambo. Nishawe set mzigo yani nisha set raia. Nisha set yani jeshi limezunguka hapa. Gehazi anasema mzee unazungumzia kitu gani anamwambia hivi Mungu Can you open the eyes of this fool? The Bible says Gehazi akafunguliwa macho. Ghafla akaona jeshi limemzunguka Elisha. And can I shock you? Jeshi alikuwa limewazunguka wao. Ilikuwa limemzunguka mtu mmoja, Elisha. Kwa hiyo kwenye ulimwengu wa mwili they were very close. Lakini kwenye ulimwengu wa roho the army surrounded Elisha only. Wewe unafikiri ni mwenzako? Unamwona anapiga mswaki asubuhi na mimi na yeye tunapiga mswaki. Ampigi mswaki wote. Mwenzako alishazungukwa na jeshi siku nyingi. Anaenda kazini kwake jeshi limemzunguka. Anaenda nyumbani kwake jeshi limemzunguka. Anaenda kwenye biashara yake jeshi limemzunguka. Wakati wewe unahangaika umuone nani umshike nani akusaidie kusukuma wateja. Mwenzako na jeshi liko busy linazambaza vipeperushu vyake. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen malaika wa Mungu hivi ndio vipeperushi vyangu katika jina la Yesu mtavichukua mtavisambaza alafu na hapa tu raia ambao wanataka wavisambaze vipeperushi vyako I hear something Mungu ananiambia ni Mungu ananiambia niwaambie Mungu aliniambia hivi tayari nilishaachilia Oh yes nilishaachilia jeshi la malaika upande wenu Yes ondoa hofu Amen ondoa hofu Amen Angels of God are on your side Amen Remove your fear Amen Wao wakiwa na majini na mapepo Yes you have angels everywhere Amen Angels will fight for you Amen will fight with you Amen Hallelujah Amen But the end mtahitaji nyinyi kwenda angels will go for you Amen Say angels will go for me Angels will go for me I 
can see an army of angels. Yes. Released for us in the name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, sit down a little bit so that I can quickly finish it up. Now, you are weak now. You are worried. Kukumba ile worry yako, ile hofu yako ina inamderail Mungu, inamrudisha Mungu nyuma, ina inampa Mungu pause. Mungu kumbe anatafuta uchizi ili wote mkokiane. Mungu afanye kazi mwenyewe. Unamkoki yeye na yeye anakukoki. Unamkokiana. Twende twende. Twende twende. Twende twende. Twende twende. Yet man of men. Unaenda Mungu atasema pu. See, it had to take Moses to be ready to lift his hand for God to part the sea. He didn't start listen, listen. Heaven is reactive. Say that to your neighbor. Heaven is reactive. Meaning heaven is not active. It acts after earth has acted. Ndio maana ombeni nanyi mtapewa. So inaanzia wapi? Mkifunga lolote. So hatujafunga? Hawajafunga. Hatujafungua? So mbingu inakusubiria wewe. Ukikata tamaa, mbingu inarudi nyuma. Ukisema tunaenda, mbingu inafanyaje? Heaven is backing you up in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say I am not alone. I am not alone. Ninayo mbingu nyuma yangu. Ninayo mbingu nyuma yangu. Backing me up. Back me up. You're not alone. You're not alone. Kazi yetu sisi ni kutamka. You know what? Kazi yetu sisi sio kubwa. Kazi yetu ni kutamka. Kazi yetu ni kutamka ni kusema, ni kuomba na kufanya matendo ya imani. Sema matendo ya imani. Mungu hata kuacha waibike. Nasema Mungu hata kuacha waibike. Amen. Kuna watu mko hapa ofisi zenu kwenye ma Watu mnaladu ni yani? Ofisi zenu mna gym kabisa ofisini. Unaruhusiwa kwenda ofisini saa kumi. usiku saa kumi na moja. Unafunguliwa na mlinzi. Alafu unaacha watu vinaenda hivi hivi. Hi. Kabla hajaingia mtu yote kwanza ofisini wamekufungulia mlango haleluya imekula kwao sioni mtu yote atakayefeli huko ndani amen sioni kukwama amen sioni kushindwa amen sioni kuzuiliwa amen sioni kukataliwa amen haleluya Amen. Sema kwa jina la Yesu. Kwa jina la Yesu. Sitakataliwa. Sitakataliwa. Sitazuiliwa. Sitazuiliwa. Kwa jina la Yesu. Kwa jina la Yesu. If you allow yourself to be weak. God will you have nothing to do? kuna wajibu wa mtu kumbuka tutoka kwenye wakolosai anaweza tupate kujua ujio wajibu wetu kwa Bwana okay let me finish it up by saying marko 11 marko 11 kwani kwani sawa biblia kidogo marko 11 and then we wind up and go home and eat ubwabwa marko 11 mstari wa 12 hata asubuhi yake walipotoka bethania aliona njaa ilikuwa saa ngapi Asubuhi. Yesu akaona nini? Njaa. Jamani, Yesu naye alikuwa anasikia nini? Njaa. Tuzaa kutishana. Oh. <laughs> Unajua ukiwa kiroho usikija eh. Eh. Watu mnarohosha mno. Now remember every place in the Bible where there is the word njaa, manake economic crisis. Financial crisis. Please always note that. Every place in the Bible waliposema neno njaa maana yake nini financial crisis or economic crisis iko ni issue ya ki faith na Yesu akawa anataka kupata chakula akawa anataka kupata mtaji akawa anataka kupata fedha na watch what happened akaona kwa mbali mtini wenye majani akaona kwa mbali fursa biashara kazi idea kitu fulani ambacho kinaweza kampa chakula kina majani it was green it was looking good uh-huh. akaenda ili labda aone kitu juu yake akaanzisha biashara ili labda apate kitu juu yake 
akaanisha kazi ili labda apate kitu juu yake akaanisha kitu ili labda so that he, he can find uh, money what happened na alipofikiria hakuona kitu ila majani alipofika kwenye ule mti hakuona kitu ila majani no profit pastor my business has no profit things are not profit <laughs> even Jesus was once disappointed. Now look at the reaction. Mwamba alikuwa na njaa siku hii. Kio kio ina kabla hujasoma. Mwambie jirani. Ninakusihi. Ukigundua nina njaa. Pita mbali. Ehe. Soma hapo. Maana si wakati wa tini. Kwa hiyo hakuona kichochote na sio kwa sababu ilikuwa sio wakati wa tini. Now I want you to note that it was not seasonal and yet Jesus expected the tree to give the fruit out of the season. Kwa kwake yeye of course you know the rest of the story you know the story aliulani ule mtini mnafahamu si ndio? Okay. It was not the time Yes anajaribu kuambia mtini hivi no excuse results only i came here as your creator i wanted to have fruits you don't have fruits you are cursed so in other words yeso anajaribu kusema kwangu mimi usiniambie swala la muda usiniambie unajua eti unataka nyumba au unataka frame au unataka siju eneo unajua jana tu ameingia mtu hapa jana tu kaingia mtu <laughs> it's not the time. It's not that labda usubirie miezi sita akiona tukiona ameshindwa. Yaani mimi niwasubirie nyinyi miezi sita Unaambia mzee. Unaambia mzee wait a little bit. I'm going after 3 days. I'll come back here again. Sijajua ibada ya siku ya leo ni kwa ajili ya nani. But wherever they gave you a no. Yes. I as your pastor. Yes. I'm sending you back again. Amen. Go and knock that door again. Amen. Go and push that wall again. Amen. That money is yours. Amen. That office is yours. Amen. Go and get it that. Amen. I'm here to tell you whatever you think it was impossible. Yes. Jehovah in heaven is telling me to tell you. Yes. No, 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 they lied to you. It is possible. Yes. You can receive that job. Amen. You can receive that miracle. Amen. You can receive that office. Amen. You can receive that business. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Kataeni bana. Mjifunze kuwa hodari. Mjifunze kuwa strong. Mjifunze kugoma. Mjifunze kubisha wanapowakatalia vitu kataeni na nyinyi wanapowabishia bisheni na nyinyi yes. walitembea kwenye bahari ya Sham Biblia nasema walipofika kwenye bahari bahari iliwabishia liwaambia sisi hatunaga mlango <laughs> sisi hatunaga nini not before me bahari haikuwa ikoaga na mlango hata siku moja lakini siku ile walipofika wana wa Israeli bahari ilisema basi basi Biblia inaandika wazi nasema hivi bahari ilipo mwaona bahari ilipo muona Mungu katikati wa Israeli Biblia nasema bahari ilikimbia Milima ilikimbia sio ilisogezwa ilikimbia I here to announce to you in the name of Jesus Amen Mountains will be afraid of you Amen Mountains will be running away from you Amen Okay Do you know kwenye Biblia kuna huo mstari anasema hivi milima ilikimbia Do you know that Manake hao jamaa they were walking in the mountain road and then how walikuwa na wazee pale hawakupanda milima you know why hawakupanda milima because the mountains were running away ukifuatilia you can google fuatilia the route andi kabisa the route from egypt to israel by foot it is full of mountains but you know what they climbed no mountain walikuwa natembea kwenye ardhi tambarare you know why because every mountain that was ahead of them ilikuwa ikiwaona 
Hey, hi. That's what the Bible says. Milima ilipoaona. Ili waona, yani sio mimi nimeiona milima. Yaani wewe unachagua. Unataka mlima ukuone au wewe uone? Fa mchezo ni makao watatua ile hiyo. Yaani Yaani hapa ni vitu viwili. Yes. Kuna wale wanaoiona tatizo. Yes. Na wale ambao tatizo linawaona. Yaani mimi ni tatizo la tatizo. Yes. Jokie okay, ninakwambia mimi ni tatizo la tatizo. Tatizo linyewe linaniona mimi ni nini? Tatizo. Watu wa Mungu wiki hii kwa kweli kwa kweli. You have been fired up for winning. Anasema milima iliwaona bahari ili kusanya virago vyake ikapisha okay huko nyuma maisha yao yote bahari haijawahi kutokea historia kwamba bahari ikawanyika tengeneza leo historia yako put records put records miujiza ijirudii put records create your own miracle yes sa sa hata they are walking baba baba Musa analia Mungu anaambia usinililie mimi waambie wana wa Israeli waendelee mbele maana yake nini mimi naendelea mbele mnachelewa nyinyi ndio mnanichelewesha mimi mgeukie yako naambia unamchelewesha Mungu Mungu ana agenda nyingi sana maneno haya ninamuomba Mungu yaweke mizizi ndani ya moyo wako amen lisiwepo la kukuogopesha amen muona mstari baba Zaburi sura ya 97. Wewe soma tunachokiona. Yes. Uh-huh. Kuanzia mstari wa 2. Mm. Mawingu na giza vya mzunguka, haki na hukumu ndio misingi kwa kiti chake. Mm. Moto utangulia mbele zake nao uwateketeza watesi wake pande zote. Umeme wake uliangaza ulimwengu, nchi ikaona ikatetemeka. Milima iliyeyuka kama nta mbele za Bwana. Milima ivaa nini? Iliyeyuka. Yaani ile miamba ni mawe mawe ilifanya nini? Yeyuka. Mbele za Bwana, Bwana alitembea lini? Walipokuwa anatembea wao ndio Bwana alikuwa anatembea. Yes. Hajawahi kuonekana Jehovah physically. Ila wao ndio walikuwa Jehovah. The presence of Jehovah was with them. Yaani if I appear in any area, any place, Jehovah has come. Amen. If I come, Jehovah has come. Amen. Say that if I come, Jehovah has come. Imagine that is your imagination that is your mindset that's the way you think every single morning yes. so if i'm going to any meeting jehovah has entered there yes say if i have come lucky are those people because they have seen jehovah muangalie yesu anachokisema hivi anambia filipo mmekana mimi siku zote hamjamuona baba maana yake ni kwamba filipo anajaribu kwa hivi yesu tuonyeshe sisi baba ukituonyesha baba na tocha anambia filipo na angalia maneno hapo nyuma anamwambia hivi mimi na baba tu wamoja na ninachochifanya ni kile ninachokiona kwa baba yangu aliyeko biguni kwa baba yake hayupo hapo filipo akamwambia fresh unavomuelezea huyu baba yako yani ni kama jitu fulani sasa sikiliza mwamba tusaidie tu jambo moja tu tuonyeshe baba inatosha akaambia filipo nimekaa na mimi siku zote amjamuona baba yani hivi marafiki zako sasa natamani kumuona Mungu anambia eh wewe umekaa na mimi siku zote yes yo yes wewe <laughs> yani natamani muone Mungu kwenye maisha yangu anambia we we umekaa na mimi siku zote Ujamuona bado? Katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Sisi ni identity ya Mungu mjini. Amen. Sema e baba. E baba. Wakitaka kukuona. Wakitaka kukuona. Wataniangalia mimi na maisha yangu. Ya mimi na maisha Watakuona. Yangu. Watakuona. Nasema hivi kuna watu hapa wazazi wenu waamuamini Mungu. Yes. Wataicheki maisha yenu. Yes. Watasema kwa kweli Mungu anaishi. Amen. Kwa kweli Mungu yupo. Amen. Kuna watu walikuwa wanawajua ni wahuni sana. Yes. Lakini watacheki mabadiliko yenu. Yes. Wataona maendeleo yenu. Yes. Watasema kweli Mungu yupo. Amen. Nasema kweli Mungu yupo. Amen. Sema huo ndio ushuhuda wangu kuanzia sasa. Huo ndio ushuhuda wangu kuanzia sasa. Boy. Yes, anambia Filipo. Filipo what are you trying to say? Umekana mimi siku zote hujamuona. 
that's the story you will tell your friends wakija wakwambia hivi tunatamani muone Mungu jamani natamani muone Mungu wewe unamwambia ha ha anakuuliza he kwani wewe ni Mungu unaambia umesahau kulikuwa kuna biashara hii nimeifanya imetokea sio amefanya eh nimefa yes Yesu anasema hivi mambo niliyoyafanya makubwa zaidi ya hayo mimi ninyi mtafa sio mimi sio Mungu ninyi mtafanya kama niligeuza maji kuwa divai ninyi mtageuza chochote mtageuza makaratasi atakuwa hela mtageuza mikataba mlioandika kwa wino atageuka kuwa hela yes. mtageuza mawazo yenu atakuwa hela yes. mtageuza idea zenu zitakuwa hela yes. i pray in the name of jesus yes. may the faith of god be in you amen Sema I'm set for greatness. I'm set for greatness. I refuse to be small. I refuse to be small. Shout I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Eh. Quickly pale kwenye kwenye kanani pale. Kamako. Marco pale. Yes. Mstari wa 13. Mhm. Akaona kwa mbali mtini wenye majani akaenda ili labda aone kitu juu yake alipofikiria hakuona kitu ila majani maana si wakati wa tini uh-huh. akajibu akauambia eh tangu leo eh, hata milele not alifanyaje akajibu A- alifanyaje akajibu alijibu nini aliujibu nini mtini nikifanyaga mimi nasema pasta kaka changanyikiwa unaujibuje mti mtu unaongea huyu hapa ana ujibu mti ofisini kwako hakuna miti miti nje akipaki gari hapa ninakuagiza msemeshe akiuangalia mti kuna kitu atakiona yes kuna kitu ta... ushae kuona ile anatembea anatembea alafu naangalia tu pembeni afa sema kuna kitu nimekumbuka watu wamekuseti kuna aina ya mti bosi wako akiuona tu your name comes oh yes mengine kweli nawaambia mengine i am scaring to share they are too deep too too deep narudia tena watu wa Mungu kwa unyenyekevu wangu wote we are not here by chance It's not easy to be here. Everybody who is serving God wishes to be where we are. But can I tell you something? We have done a lot in faith to yes. be here. Yes. It's not a game of one day. It's a revelation after revelation, confession after confession, prophecy after prophecy. So you hear us teaching you something. Get the God. Anasema akaujibu. Ana unaujibuje mti? kaujibu akauambia anauambia tangu leo hata milele mtu asile matunda kwako by that time haongei na watu haongei na rais haongei na mkurugenzi haongei na... anaongea na mti jifunze kuanzia leo hii jifunze kuongea na madesk oh, yes. jifunze kuongea na majengo jifunze kuongea na ardhi jifunze kuongea na hali ya hewa vile haviwezi kujibishana wewe vile havitishi Come prosper. This is prosper. What a gentleman. Enelo unalotaka Eneo unalotaka kuwa na contract nalo au tender. Unalijua ulijui? Alijua. Pale mahali unapajua upajui? ofisi yao unaijua uijui unaijua mzee kwa ni nani amekuzuia wewe kupita saa saba usiku saa nane na kuliangalia lile jengo na kulisemesha hakuna aliyezuia hakuna aliyekuzuia nakushukuru sana mtumishi wangu asante sana mzee nani kakuzuia unapaki gari yako unashusha kioo unaliangalia 
unaniitikia kiti changu kiko huko ndani niite sumbua walioko huko ndani paka wameita jina langu yes yes unaweza ukaelewa hali anayoipata mtu ambaye mkanyaga kwenye kiatu huko unaweza ukaelewa you will accept me <laughs> you will accept me there is a place i have placed my i have sent my contract now they are trying to bishana na mimi you wewe una ujasiri wa kunibishia mimi you will be under my foot and probably they are watching now don't know you, you, you are here my friend nani kakuzuia peni ni ya kwao kikaratasi ni cha kwao kiatu ni cha kwao mguni wa kwao oh mtumishi mimi fulani ananikwaza unajua bibi amesema hivi pendeni adui zenu waombeeni mema wale wanaoaudhi haleluya Anyway, Yesu akaujibu, <laughs> akaujibu, akawaambia, mm? Tangu leo hata milele mtu asile matunda. Fadhali mwawahi kusoma, nilikuwa nataka niseme ka kitu hapo, lakini endelea. <laughs> Kaandika kajina ka mtu. Akafirikisha na mna hii. kama ambavyo watu hawarudi uchafu chooni ndivyo ambavyo e bwana hatarudi kwa huyu mtu tena kwa hiyo kila kunsuli akiwa anamwaza sunsuli atamfananisha na nini This world is not my own. I'm just passing. <laughs> no more tears in the name of Jesus. Amen. Sema I refuse to be denied. The kingdom of God. Since the last time I checked suffers violent the verse has never changed it says the violent shall take it by what by what force by what force and you are there you say you drive your car paka kwenye mlango ile ofisi I know you are supposed to go there tomorrow but go day before tomorrow. You look at it you say the doors are malango yangu yatakuwa wazi daima. Ili nini nilete utajiri? My money shall come. You will have my name in the name of Jesus. You will not stop me. You will accept what I will say. If I will negotiate 1 billion that's what you will take. If I will say 2 billion that's what you will take. Yes. If you say 3 that's what you will take. Yes. What wa Mungu bisheni nanyi mtafubisha. The only answer ya kubisha alichosema Yesu nanyi mtafunguliwa. Kwa hiyo kama mjafunguliwa maana yake anasema hivi bisheni nanyi mtafunguliwa. Ya bana mimi naenda haja nifungua Yesu neno lake lijabadilika. Bisheni nanyi mtafunguliwa. Na imbaga kila siku mna neno yako hayabadiliki. Kwa hiyo ukienda ukigonga hawajafungua jikumbushe neno lako alibadiliki. Ni lile lile bisheni na nyi mtafungu kwa hiyo usiondoke kwenye huu mlango mpaka Speak on that prayer. Amen. Nasema speak on that prayer. Amen. Speak on that prayer. Amen. Speak on that price. Amen. Hey, speak on that price. Amen. Okay, you be kizum. Hang on there.
anasema akauambia kuanzia leo hata milele hata milele mtu yoyote asile matunda kwako asile matunda kwako and then what happened wanafunzi wake wakasikia nani alisikia wanafunzi wake ila yeye aliwaambia nani dini waliosikia ni kina nani wanafunzi wake kwa nini huwa anasema hivi sema wakati mwingine vitu tunavyovisemesha havina masikio kwa hao wanaosikia wengine ni spirits zinazokusaidia kusikia pamoja na hicho kilichosikia yes wanafunzi wake wafanya nini wakasikia then the story goes on wakaendelea mbele yes msari unaofuata wakafika Yerusalemu kwa walikuwa yes. wanapita njiani sio yes wakafika Yerusalemu shughuli nyingine zikaendelea sema shughuli nyingine zikaendelea kwa hiyo let's say wamekuambia kwamba uwezi haiwezekani ile jambo haiwezekani una kipa unaachilia maneno yako pale ukishaachilia maneno yake unaendelea Yerusalemu wakaingia Yerusalemu ndani ya hekalu angalia kilichotokea alipoingia ndani ya hekalu akaanza kuwafukuza wale waliokuwa wakiokia anakuambia hayo ni madhara ya njaa akaanza kupiga watu ovyo acha kaingia hekaluni yani mimi natafuta chakula nyia mimi nimeshika hela huku na alafu nafanya biashara hekaluni hiyo hapo yani <laughs> na jaribu kwaza Mungu alimset Yesu mzigo alihakikisha kwanza anakasirika apate chakula kwa sababu kule nyuma akatoka kulaani mtu ule kwanza wewe fikiria umenyima tunda la msibu mmoja unalaani kitu milele kuanzia leo mtu asile tunda kwako hata milele afa kaingia ya karuni ghafla unakutana naye mtu kakasirika namna hiyo afa afanya biashara ya karuni bibi anasema alichukua mshipi watu walikula stick but the beautiful part of this story sio hicho kilichofuata go to verse 20 now mstari wa 14 bibi azabi akajibu akawaambia tangu leo hata milele mtu yote asile matunda na wanafunzi wake wakasikia 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 tunaanza kuona matokeo ya kila alichosoma angalia na asubuhi walipokuwa wakipita saa ngapi asubuhi kumbuka jana walipita ni saa ngapi asubuhi na leo ni saa ngapi asubuhi so it took how many hours 24 how many hours not 24 12 Relax. I know by calculation it has to be 24. Kwa sababu alipita jana asubuhi. Kwa it rolled 12 and the 12 of the night. Lakini kwenye Biblia si atukount usiku. Sisi ni wana wa nuru. This will be another teaching and it will take us time. Okay, let me agree with you. Hii inaitwa lesser truth. There is higher truth and lesser truth. Lesser truth ni 24. Higher truth 12. Now let's use lesser truth for your faith. Walipita saa ngapi? Asubuhi. Asubuhi, alafu waliona ule mtini umenyauka toka shinani aliusemesha lini jana saa ngapi asubuhi asubuhi yake umenyauka usiku hakuna jua mtini umenyauka na the beautiful part atasema umenyauka majani ulinyaukia kutokea wapi shinani kwa hiyo maneno yalienda kupiga wapi kwa hiyo unaweza kumtamkia mtu kitu na akaonekana bado mwamba nunda usipate pressure mzigo natafuna ndani so everything that you think it was not done it was already done wewe tu ndo ulirudi nyuma uliporudi nyuma ukakipa uhai tena that's why i'm keeping on saying from today stick on your prayer if you said it is 2 million stick there Your prayers are led by moods. That's the problem. Kama mbona nimeomba na bado ni mkali. Mhm. Where's your wo ukali kwa sababu vinauma? Ah. 
havikauki huko juu vilikauka bibi anasema kabisa toka toka maana ndipo ilipoanzia ukaukivu umeanzia hapo vilikauka kutokea shinani shinani alafu sikiliza alicho wanafunzi wake alichosema petro akakumbuka habari yake petro akakumbuka eh akamwambia rabi tazama mtini ulio ulaani umenyauka <laughs> eh Yesu akajibu akamwambia eh muaminini Mungu Please read it again Petro akakumbuka habari yake eh akamwambia eh Rabi tazama ile kazi uliyoiombea imepatikana Yes Yesu akajibuje Muaminini Mungu Maana yake nini Every time you say amen It is done. Muaminini Mungu. Yes. Go home and sleep. Yes. Go and eat your bread. Yes. Hana alienda akaomba apate mtoto. Akaambiwa nenda, mtoto amepatikana. She left it before God. Akaiacha kwa Mungu. Akamwamini Mungu. Ila ishara ya kutokuwa sasa ngoja nikuonyeshe walikuwa wanachofanya. Umetamkiwa. Umepokea mtoto. And then unaendelea sasa hivi. Oh baba naomba mtoto baba naomba mtoto tafsiri yake nini You didn't receive I love what Jesus answered Please let's do it again Petro akamwambia mtini ulio ulaani Umenyauka, umenyauka. Yesu akajibu akamwambia muaminini Mungu Kwa mnavosikia nasema hivi tunatamka tunasema nikimaliza hata mimi na muamini nani no, no. Tomorrow you are coming here with a testimony. Kwa hiyo kumbe nilipotamka lile jambo ni kubwa mno lakini nilitamka. Wakiniuliza nililipataje na mimi nitawaambia. Yes. He's a good God. He is a great God. Atayafanya yote tuliyomwamini atafanya. Relax your heart, don't worry. Don't worry. Be strong my sister. Be strong my brother. Yes. Go ahead and make move. Yes. yes. Go and be successful. Yes. yes. Go and knock that door again. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. You know what? Yesu alipoambia muaminini Mungu. Maana yake nini? Yesu anasema hivi mimi nilipokuwa nimeshaongea, nilikuwa nishamaliza. Sikuhitaji kusubiri majani ya nyauke. The moment we are finishing praying, that business is mine. That career is mine. That job is yours. I don't need to see it happening. The moment I'm done saying, it is done given. I receive your own in the name of Jesus. Say I have my own. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a good God we serve. What a moment in the presence of our Father. Hallelujah. I cannot wait tarehe 8 kuamkia tarehe 9. December. Oh, we can do the hallelujah all the time we want. Hallelujah. What a great God we serve. What a great God we serve. I tell you, hata kama mbingu ilikuwa ina mpango wa kutupa. Hata wewe ungekuwa Jehovah ungefanyeje sasa? Ungefanyeje sasa? I can see doors are opening. I say I can see doors are opening. Walls are broken. Seas are parting the way. In the name of Jesus. Mountains are melted. Mountains are melting. Mountains are melting. Milima yako inayeyuka. 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 Ule mlimo wako umeyeyuka. Natamka umeyeyuka. 
Yesu aliulaani mtini kesho yake asubuhi ukao umelaanika. Jioni ya kesho kama hii ule mlima umeyeyuka. Uvimbe umeyeyuka. Kansa imeyeyuka. HIV imeyeyuka. Mateso yameyeyuka. Vya kwako vilivyokataliwa vimezuiliwa? Vimeachiliwa sasa. Vimeachiliwa sasa. Vimeachiliwa sasa. In the name of Jesus.